Fair Power Amulet, Vindicator, and Pulsar Scrolls. These are the items you can get from Treasure Charts, the best way to get rare items in Arcane Odyssey. Let's begin. Treasure can include high tier chests such as gold and steeled chests, which can drop amazing loot. Gold chests are the best way to obtain fair amulets and armor in general. Sealed chests, on the other hand, give special items that cannot be obtained anywhere else. On top of giving a lot of galleons and cannonballs, steel chests also give good blueprints and rarely enchantment scrolls. The best possible items, obtained at around a 1 in 60 chance, are the Vindicator, Pulsar Spell Scroll, and Axe Slash Technique Scroll, and the Pulsar is the single best attack in the game. Normally, you can find treasure charts from scroll chests. However, this is RNG dependent and unreliable, but there is another way. By defeating rivals, you can get a rare treasure chart or sometimes even an exotic or legendary one. These charts have more stages but better loot at the end. You can make a rival by hunting down the same wanted criminal 3 times, but make sure he is under level 70 or else he might get executed by the Grand Navy. You also must hunt the rival and only that rival in the same server. After each kill, the criminal will be sent to jail for around 10 minutes and then respawn. The third kill will make the criminal your rival and he will be able to spawn in any server that you are in. And then it will show rumor messages like this. The level will increase to 130 over time like my boy Dudley. Here's a guide on how to find buried treasure. Treasure can be found in any island at random positions. The treasure chart will list important information about the treasure's location, including the cardinal direction, distance from the center of the island, height, and terrain material to dig in. Each of these stats have a certain phrase listed in the treasure chart, and the area they can spawn in can be confusing. Luckily, I have created a website to help. There's some notes on the top if you want to read them, but all you have to do is enter these values and it shows you where the treasure might be located. You can also get sealed or scroll chests by destroying NPC ships. These include pirate ships and assassin ships. You want to kill the entire ship using rams or cannons before attacking the NPCs on the ship. Depending on the level and type of ship, they can drop from 1 to maybe 4 sealed chests as well as many other normal chests. This method is much faster at getting sealed chests, but it requires a good ship, preferably a caravel like this, and can damage your own ship. 